focus, focus, spread out, and you got to focus. It's your crucified, prison, crucified Christ. Call me, focus. That's right. Focus. Focus, focus. When everybody trying to tell you the same thing, focus. Say, did God tell me this? Focus. And this, when someone says, oh, well, you know, that's just God giving you a warning. <laughs> Once again, focus. Did God give you that warning? Why would God not give you that warning? Focus. And are, are they giving you a warning or are they just using their emotions? Like they would uh, otherwise say that you're doing. Focus. Like I told you before, see the psychological game, beware of it. Focus. Because see, everybody pretends to be this man and this woman of God until it's really trying to focus and they start pulling them psychological tricks. Then you say, okay, focus. Now. Yeah. Now, God's giving everybody a word, right? Focus. Until, like, God's giving everybody a word. Until one flying monkey, which is where you use the word flying monkey, focus, says one thing, and he or she shifts everything, and then, oh, God, all of a sudden, God, God didn't, didn't um, say that. Mm -hmm. Focus. So these are many false prophets out here going into the world. And I said that over the spirit, seriously. Focus. Right, so when we say read the book, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Focus. Now, the false prophets coming out here. You know, let them hear one of your sermons or one of your things you go up on, God. You'll say, yeah, man, you know, two plus two equals uh, four. But if uh, you took one away, it would equal three. All signs, they'll say, oh, well, you're deceived. You're deceived. You see, God says don't take anything away. And you're like, okay, you're the prophet. You're, you're, you're the prophet. You're the prophetess. Well, since so you're such a prophet, prophetess, you would have known that I was going to say that. And uh, I might be a bad example. But all I'm saying is this. Let them hear something switch. Let them, hear, let them watch anything. Focus on what you're doing. And all suddenly, their prophecy is changing. So you mean to tell me, God has got this ever changing prophecies giving people. Like he was just giving Isaiah, and giving Moses, giving myself, and giving others just these different prophecies every day, every week, every hour, and then everything is just, oh, well, you know, this and that, that and this, this and that, oh, and that, you know, now that I saw his or her attitude change, now God says this and that. God bless. Not quite for a minute. People walking by, but see, this is the point. Ah, let's just be real. <laughs> let's just be real. Prophecy. And I'm just gonna tell, tell y'all just like it is. From yeah, from watching y'all videos, from watching how y'all react and seeing how y'all how y'all say things. It's just point blank. God says you don't know the real prophecy because He hasn't given you the prophecy. To be prophesied. He hasn't given you that. God is saying that you, you heard some God giving testimonies and you figured, okay, you know what? I heard a God giving testimony. I like it. It's beautiful. Okay, beautiful. So God is saying that you're trying to prophesy over what God already put in someone's life. See, you know, if you, now don't get me, don't get it wrong. Three brothers and sisters, that'd be, that'd, be, that'd be correct. That follow God. But see, let it be known that yes, they watched your video. To know that, and you know what, real prophecy, you don't always have to watch somebody's video. Real prophecy, you'll be saying the same words as somebody else, because that's just real prophecy. And that's real. You'll be saying the same words, you'll watch somebody that did a video a year ago, two years ago, one year ago, ten years ago, because real prophecy, is that God himself never changes. You understand? So it won't be a confused prophecy. So that's the point. So once more again, focus. Right. What it is, is you see a different... Uh, you see a different video, you hear a different comment, you hear a different thing being said, now all of a sudden your prophecy is changing. So see, you get rebuked for that, you are in error for that, and I don't care who, who you are, because <laughs> I'm going to call you by name, because your name is one thing, it's a spirit of confusion.
the spirit of delusion, the spirit of false prophecy, the spirit of trying to be heard, the spirit of psychic, the spirit of fortune telling, the spirit of deception, the SOD, spirit of deception. And many go around doing that, thinking it's okay, walking around, running around, you know, jolly, 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 or whatever, or trying to act tough, get out the way, and this and that, and you're like, huh? 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 I thought you said this and that, sir. Ma'am? Ma'am, sir? Well, that's the way she's so focus, and focus, she would say something. If you really focus on the Most High God, if you focus on that course that you got, that course of the Christ that you really have, if you focus on that, Meaning because you're focused on Christ, that means you're focused on the Spirit. He was born of the Spirit. Right, you understand? But God, by the Father God, the only one God, the first fruit, we know this, right? The Scripture and the book, and the Scripture in life, because we know this because the Spirit revealed it through the book, and the Spirit revealed it in life, because the Spirit revealed it, and not only the Spirit revealed it, the Christ, the Word, the Word, the Word, confirmed it. Now, if you're on your knees, prophecy you will be getting. Based off of just real prophecy. You can't check the person's characteristics. Oh, what? I'm getting prophecy. God says, this is God says that. Why is that not coming to pass? Why? No, oh, yeah. Some of y'all got some visual prophecies. Meaning you, you, can, you, can, you can dress up your prophecy, put a little dress on your prophecy. You know, like they say, some of y'all, some effeminates, you put your little skirt on your prophecy. You know, some of you put, put a little tie on your prophecy, put the little red tie on with the white button down shirt. You understand? So the prophecy sounds good. But. Them prophecies are void. And I've seen many drop a bunch of prophecies that didn't come true. Because they know that they wasn't telling the truth. See? That's the point. See, some of you, like I said, right? some of you are not prophetic, really. You're, you're motivational, let's look that fact, you're motivational spirits. Yeah, you know, which, is, which is good. But your motivational deceiving spirits, because you're not even telling the truth about what you're saying. So you're supposed to be honest. See, that's where the truth comes in that focus. I saw your video. I saw this and that. Blah blah blah. Or whatever the case is. But you know, through the Father, through, through Father God, through the Christ, I want to help you with ah ah ah. That's all you gotta say. Don't call yourself a prophet. I don't, pro don't prophesize nothing, because God's not saying that stuff. And how do I know that right? Because God is telling me that he's not saying these things. Or wasn't saying these things, you know. But that's the point, so focus. 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 That's the point. So, you really focus on the most high God. See, the real prophets that speak, they don't even speak and say, oh, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes they don't even say God says sometimes. They just... Speak it. That's what, that's what true prophecy is. You understand? They just speak it. It just comes out. Naturally. Naturally. You know. They don't got to hear this and hear that. Because a psychic has to hear this and hear that. And say, okay, oh, well, you know I think you're holding on to money too much. And it, it'll be you just saying, oh, you know what, man? I really got to get this money. Because I got to pay my bills. I got to take care of my daughter. I got to take care of my wife. I gotta uh, pay the mortgage, you know, whatever the case is, and, you know, maybe you're not hanging on to money too much, but that's the psychic part of it, oh, you're hanging on to money too much, I think you're worried about money, I think you need to just let go of money, and you're like, I never even latched on to it like that, I just said I need the money for what I need, you understand, so they gotta hear things, they gotta hear things to interpret, they gotta hear things to interpret, remember, we're not God bodies, <laughs> you understand, right, so we're not God. God body is Christ, the form of God. It's God, the Father has no form. Right, so that's the point. So, that's the point, right. So you can't interpret God through what someone is saying unless they're given a prophecy to prophesy to the nations. Unless they're given a, a you're right. You're trying to give a singular prophecies, right. That's what some of what I say fall in the category of the psychics. And what the Father of God say, no familiar spirits. No witches or warlocks, no wizards, no che no Jezebeliums. You understand? So focus, focus. Get a reading from God Himself, and He can help you. See, you're trying to help single-handedly. See, the Holy Spirit doesn't just single out. Well, like I said before, focus. He don't single out 
one area of life. The Holy Spirit, holy, the Holy Spirit is the fulfillment, the fulfillment of God, the fulfillment, the fulfillment of the glory of heaven, which is Christ, is the fulfillment. So whatever the fulfillment is, is what will be fulfilled. Right? You just can't read off of one thing. That's the point. Because like I can tell you, you're not following God. And it doesn't matter if you're exposing something or if you're not. You're still not, you're not following God is what I'm saying. See, focus. You guys want an easy way out. You want to just say, oh, well, I'm just doing this. I'm just doing that. Or he don't like this. Or she don't like that. Oh, well. Your thing is, you're stuck. You're stuck in one zone. And when you see, that's the point, right? So, when you get stuck in one zone, that's Satan stagnating you. Focus. Because see, if what you were saying was so important, and if what you were doing, it would have came to pass. And the minute these, you guys said it did, didn't come to pass, because it was the same very words you use, like let go, and this and that, you haven't let go of. Because see, if Father God was really speaking to you that stuff, he wouldn't have you laying around, laying around in a bucket, and nothing not happening. And you say, oh, this and that, right. Because see, that's the point, because see, it's just point blank focus. Your, your correcting and your, your whatever you're doing is not coming from God in the first place. It's coming from you. See, ask God to bless your hand with what you're doing. See, I'm not saying everything a person does is wrong. Ask God to bless, bless the hand with what you're doing. With your so-called correction, your so-called edification, your so-called exhortation, your, your so-called whatever it is that you're doing. And ask Him to bless the hand of it. Right. Ask Him to bless the hand of it. Phone is ringing right now. See, who is this? 855. Oh, okay. Right. Ask Father God to bless the hand of what you're doing. Noisy out here. Pardon me, bro. Noisy, yeah. Action. Right, right, right. And I'm stringing along a little bit. This is, this is definitely a godly message. So, right. So, ask Father God to bless the hand of what you're doing. Ask God. Ask God to prophesy over that message you're doing. Ask the high priest to be the priest over that. Remember, that's the right here. He's also the, pro the promised prophet. He's the prophet. 